I have a Samsung Galaxy S21 here. I'm going to show you how to transfer files such as photos and videos directly from your A21 to a Windows computer or laptop. And we're going to transfer everything using a cable, okay? Now the thing is, the cable that you get with your S21, it looks something like this. It's a uh, USB-C to USB-C. The thing is, on this Windows laptop, I don't have a USB-C or basically a Thunderbolt 2 port. So I have no choice, but I have to use the traditional a USB-A to a USB Type-C cable or charging cable that offers data sync as well. Okay, so I'm going to be using this right here. So let's go ahead and transfer some uh, photos and videos. So first thing, I'm just going to go ahead and connect my USB port to the uh, my laptop USB port right there. I'm going to grab the other end. Here's my S21 here, and what I'm going to do is pop this in here, and then let me go ahead and log into the phone as well. Okay, there we are. Now sometimes you will get a message that pops up here and say allow this. Uh, you get some kind of message you have to okay it. I'm not sure why I didn't get that message. Let me just unplug and plug it back in. Let's see if we get it here. Okay, I don't get it right now, but sometimes you do get it. Anyway, so from here we heard it like connect. So now if you just go ahead and go directly to your computer, you go to the file explorer. Okay, so we're going to go down to file explorer. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now you can see if I look on the left pane here, if I look down under this PC, I see Galaxy S21 5G. So let me click on that. And then it says phone right here. Let's double click on that. Now all of your photos and videos are always in the uh, DCIM folder. So let's go ahead and double click DCIM. And then you want to tap on camera, okay? You might have some other ones, screen recordings and screenshots as hell as well, okay? But we're going to transfer some uh, videos and photos that I took on this uh, S21 phone. And you can see I have some videos and photos here. You can tell that they are photos. It has like a uh, JPEG, it says uh, JPEG, JPG file. Or if it's a movie or video file, you can tell because it shows you like how many seconds or how many minutes or so, um, how big, um, how long the actual video is, all right? Anyway, from here, it's pretty simple. So if you want to go ahead and save it directly to your desktop, I mean, what you can do is you can select whichever one you want and then you can just go ahead and if you want to put it on your desktop, you can just go ahead and drag and drop it. So for instance, like so let's say I wanted this JPEG picture here, I can drag and drop it right on top of my desktop right there. Now it's saved to the hard drive of my uh, Windows computer here. Or what I typically do is I'll just create another folder here. I'll left click on my uh, my mouse pad here and I'll go down to new and then I'll go to new uh, folder here. Okay, and I'll just call this uh, S21. So you can see right here, and now I can select whichever one I want, or I can do the whole shebang, I can highlight everything, and I can drag and drop it right to the uh, S21 folder right there, and give it one second. Everything is transferring here. All right, it's just about done. Okay, there we go. So we're done now, and now I can go ahead and just go ahead and pull the cable out on my S21, and now my S21 folder here, all those photos and videos are in here now on my desktop on the hard drive of my Windows laptop. So pretty simple. Any questions or issues just uh, comment below.